What's up, my no fat brothers, man? I'm back again with another value information update. Um, a no fat brother asked me to make a video or just gave me an idea of, you know, staying motivated on your journey in the beginning stages. What can you do to give yourself a boost, to give yourself inspiration, to give yourself motivation to continue to push forward when it's so easy to fall back into that habit of looking at porn and fapping or just looking at twerking videos or just looking at anything that you associate with porn and fapping. How do you break free? How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you stay motivated? What, you know, and we always talk about personal why, having that why. Why do you want to fucking do no fap in the first place? It's a reason why, you know, we all, we're all, we all want to become better in life. We all want to improve in all aspects of our lives, you know, not just one aspect, but all aspects of our life. We want to become well-rounded. Like, what's your personal why? Like, why are you doing no fab? There is a reason why. Obviously, you read something. A lot of guys are always talking about, oh, I want to have an attraction for women, you know, and that's great. You know, getting attraction from women is great. It's awesome. I get attraction from women every fucking day. It's like, you know, what, what, what would surprise me if I wasn't getting attraction? You know, that was that was that was what would surprise me. But I'm not worried about attraction for women. Like that getting attraction for men is like a bonus. It's like um, you know, a cherry on top. You know, or getting a or you working at a job and you get a bonus once a month. You know, it's a bonus. You know, but the man you become by doing no fap. I know you see I know all you guys from day one, you see my transformation, you know, having more mental strength, having more gym games, you know. Incre increasing my intelligence, more mental clarity. You know, the list goes on for positive attributes that you that you accumulate over your nofap journey. It's just increased. It's profound. It's it's you know. I wish I would have found this nofap shit a long time ago, but I'm glad I found it now. I'm 28 years old, but I'm glad I found it now. You know, and if I would have found it early on, I wouldn't even been able to make this. YouTube channel for you guys. So everything happened for a reason. And my life is just I've I've been to hell on earth and I've been and I'm right now I'm on heaven. I'm in heaven. We brought heaven. I'm I'm on heaven on earth, man. So I've seen both sides. That's why I'm able to share my experience with you guys. That's why I'm able to share my knowledge with you guys. And that's why you guys are able to feel me because it's everything I speak of is is what I experience. It's the truth. You know, if it didn't happen, I'm not going to fucking talk about it, you know? So I, my whole thing is to get you guys from not going to hell on earth. You know, I've seen the darkness. I've seen the, not even the darkness, but I've seen the cold. You know, hell is cold, man. It's cold. No one's there to, to give you a blanket. No one's there to give you a hand. You know, no one's there to give you a hot cup of, a hot cup of tea. No one's there. No one. You, you're walking in the middle of the desert. It's cold, freezing your ass off with no clothes on. You don't want to go there. No fap is the way. No fap will lead you into other directions, other positive directions that you need to go in your life. Other people that you need to meet that will help you get even higher. You know, because we're fucking rising every single day, man. We're rising every single day and it's beautiful, but... The thing is, staying motivated on your early stages. Like I said, why? Why? Why do you want to do NoFap? When I started, I wrote down a note card. All the pros to NoFap and all the cons to fapping and watching porn. Fapping and watching porn. What does that give you? You feel weak. You feel like a weak little bitch. You feel extremely lethargic. No motivation. No drive. Testosterone levels drop. Guys are, the exams are, are, are close by. People are saying they masturbated before exam and failed. They have no more connection to their higher self, you know, or to, to, the, to the knowledge they have because now they have brain fog. You know, you're constantly depleting yourself. You, like I say, you feel like a weak little bitch. Your knees feel weak. You just overall fapping and looking at porn. It's detrimental to your physical body. 
detrimental to your emotional health, detrimental to your mental health, detrimental to your spiritual health. Your spiritual health. That's the most that's the most important thing right there, your spiritual health. Why? Because we are spiritual beings. You can never satisfy the flesh. That alone should motivate you to continue to push forward on your no-fail journey. Your spirit, the spirit inside of you. When your body, when you die, your body's still here. What do you what where do you think you're gonna go? So obviously we have to nourish our spirit first. Our spirit first. That's what comes first, our spirit. You can never satisfy the flesh. When you're hungry, you eat. Guess what? You're hungry again in four to five hours. You can't satisfy the flesh, but you can satisfy your spirit by abstaining from porn, by abstaining from masturbation, by abstaining from constantly depleting yourself. It's great to have sex, but if you anything that you abuse, it's gonna it's gonna be it's in the cause and effect. You're gonna. It's gonna be a consequence when you abuse something in life. You, you, you abuse eating. You're gonna get fat. You abuse drinking. You, you're probably gonna. If you're driving, you're probably gonna get get a DWI. You're probably gonna get into a fight. Your your kidneys, your your liver. You, you're just destroying yourself. It's self destruction. People think that, you know, I could I could do this, you know. But when you do those self destructive behaviors. It's actually controlling you, but you're unconscious of that. You think that you're controlling it, but you're not controlling it. It's controlling you. So that's that's the thing, man. Figure out your personal why, your personal vow. Make a personal vow to yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and say, man, I'm, I, I, I swear to you. Look yourself directly into the eyes in the mirror and say, I, I swear I'm not going to look at porn. I'm not going to fap ever again. I'm, I trust myself. I trust you. Make a personal vow to yourself. Whatever personal vow that you want to make. I made one in the beginning saying I'm never going to look at porn again. You know, I'm never going to look at fucking porn again. It's, it's detrimental to my health and I want to become a better person. I know by doing no fap, I will become the man that I know that I'm meant to be. I will become that warrior then at least and chain my full potential make a personal vow look yourself in the mirror look who you are look yourself dead in the eyes and see who the fuck you are so you gotta have a personal why man anything in life you gotta have a why why are you doing this shit why I'm reading a book called start with why I made a video maybe two or three weeks ago when I met a guy in Brenham Texas you know I'm meeting people in my life that I need to meet to help me push to help me continue to rise higher to help me get to, to continue to get to the next level you know I'm trusting myself I'm trusting myself more you know because I know it's always going to be okay so I'm reading I read I met a guy in Brenham Texas he you know I asked him his personal key success. He he talked to me about 20 minutes. He told me his personal key success. He says the average people don't probably read less than one book a year. And what do average people have? Average shit. You know, so I asked this guy, like, man, what book can you do you recommend? He says, start with why. That's the name of the book. Start with why. Why? Why do I even want to read this book? Because I want to become better. I want to. I want to improve myself. I started with why. So you guys need to start with why. Why? Ask yourself. Sit down with yourself in a silent room and just ask yourself, why do I want to do NoFap? What is NoFap going to benefit? How am I going to benefit from NoFap? How is my family going to benefit from NoFap? How is the people that I'm going to come in contact going to benefit from NoFap? Why? Because you're going to be a positive role model for your family members. You're going to be a positive role model for people that you come across in your everyday life, they're going to feel your vibe. They're going to feel your positive energy. And that's going to transfer from you to them. And then from them to the entire other, the entire, into the entire world, you know, because energy is only transferred. When you, when you watch my videos, 
if you feel me, if you feel my energy, it's because it's transforming from me to you. You know, so every time I make a video, I make sure that I'm I'm in the highest vibes possible. I'm feeling the best possible. I won't make a video if I'm not in my 100%. I will not make a video. I will not respond to a comment if I'm not feeling 100% because I want to give my energy to you guys. I know how important energy is. You know, and we all we, we all need uplifting, encouragement, and motivating energy to help us rise higher. And I would not respond to email. It might take me two days to respond. Three days, four days. I'm going to respond to you, but it might take me a while. I got other shit I'm doing. But I will not respond to anyone unless I'm 100%. You guys deserve that shit. You know? Give it all in or don't give it at all. So when I come in, when I email you guys, I'm giving it all in. I'm giving it all up. You know, so that's that's the thing with me. That's how I operate. That's how I roll. You know? So, yeah. Start with fucking why. Why? Why? I want to become a better person. I want to be able to speak freely and fluently and just talk to anyone. Talk to strangers. I want to be able to be smooth. Um, just any, anything in life. I want to be able to um, do better in my athletic events. You know, have more money in the bank. You know, be, prioritize. Me. Because before NoFap, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't prioritize my life. I have everything set up now. My life, my finance. Um, the things I'm going to do throughout my day, my daily habits, my daily rituals, all the, everything that I'm doing now came after I started NoFap. After I started NoFap. You know, like I said, I didn't have money in my savings account. I didn't have the car I had. You know, it's just it, your whole mind started to reprogram, rewire, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's a lovely feeling because now I can, I feel like, I'm rewiring, you know, I'm seeing, seeing things that I've been, I, I didn't see before, you know, seeing women, women are, man, like first time in my life, I think a week ago, it's five days ago or something. I said, man, I love, I love women. I love the way they smell. I love the way they look. I love, I love, I love how soft their skin is, you know? I, I, I love women because for a long time I suppressed my masculine um futures or qualities you want to call it. I suppressed that, you know. But now I'm I'm if if I find a girl attractive, if I find if I if I like something, I'll just tell the girl, hey, you're you're beautiful. Not even talking to him. I, my goal, that's not even my goal right now, is my goal I, I don't I don't need a girl. That's not my goal. But if I see a woman that's attractive, if I see a woman that's beautiful or whatever, it it's like I'm I'm more in my masculine. So when I get around a, a feminine woman, it's I feel good. I feel the energy. It's like it's a it's a beautiful feeling to be around feminine women. I love feminine women. I love feminine energy. It's amazing. They're so they're playful, they're nice, they're sweet caring and it's it's a good feeling to be around it you know and it's a beautiful feeling just to watch like I, I people watch I watch women walk how they walk you know all smooth and suave or whatever you know just free you know in heels or flip flops they're just walking free and they're all unique and they're all unique in their own way you know and I'm able to see it I'm able to see life I'm able to see, you know, the birds. I watch the birds. The birds are so beautiful. People driving, walking, not paying attention to the birds. But, you know, it's funny because yesterday, not yesterday, three days ago, yeah, three days ago I was at Walmart and birds were all lined up on the outside edge of, of, of Walmart on the top of the building. And one by one, each bird was jumping off like you're skydiving. You know, you've seen people skydive out of the plane. They jump and they have their have they hands like this, legs wide open. And the birds jumped off, spread their wings, 
one by one. They was just jumping off like little people. And it was fucking amazing. And Bird's been doing this for how long? And I'm just now seeing this shit. You know, they're jumping off Walmart. Not, you know, not even flapping their wings. They just they just have their wings spread open. Just base jump. Bad fucking. I stood there and watched this shit for about 20 minutes. Just one by one. You know, just. And I'm just thankful I found no fam. And I'm thankful that I can help you guys. And I'm thankful for you guys to sub to me and continue to show me love, man. It means a lot to me, you know, because you guys feel me. People in my life, you know, they don't really understand no fam. They don't they don't understand it because they haven't experienced it. They think shit's placebo or they think it's in your mind. But this is the truth. No fam is the fucking truth. You know, so I'm just th- I'm just thankful. I'm just extremely thankful, and I'm ex- I know I'm extremely blessed. You know, and I and I and I I love my life. You know, I love myself. You know, I love myself. You know, and I know you guys that are on your journey. You're loving yourself more. You're you're having success stories, and that's fucking amazing. You're attracting from women, better jobs. Switching your your diet up more, work working out more, you know, getting a better job or just everything is going your way, you know. Even if you're not experiencing the benefits now, just know you always reap what you sow. You always reap what you sow. So just know, like, if you haven't experienced benefits in ninety days, man, you're doing a service to your future self. Why? Man, is, I've been I've been fapping and masturbating for fifteen years. I don't. I'm at what six months. I don't think I'm going to be able to reboot and recover well after a year. Probably after a year, maybe longer. I know I'm on. I know I'm on the right track. I feel that I'm on the right track, but I feel like I still have more inner work that I need to do. Letting go of certain certain things that hold me back. Letting go of certain blocks. I'm not completely free. I know that. And I'll be lying to myself and I'll be lying to you guys if I said I'm complete. But I'm a lot more freer than I was when I was fapping and watching porn. A lot more free. Man, I just like I'm more I'm more in the present moment than ever. You know? More in the present moment than ever. It's a beautiful feeling. I'm just adjusting to it because it's different for me. Because when I was drinking, doing drugs, masturbating, I was getting away from the present moment. I was getting away from those feelings. So it's it's it's, it's I'm adjusting to this new life, this new reality as it as has entered my that has entered my field, you know, that's hit, that has entered my perspective. You know, all this shit is new to me. Loving women, looking at birds, jumping like they're skydiving, you know, all all this shit is new to me. You know, but I'm adjusting. I'm I'm Coming like Bruce Lee. Be like water. Water becomes the cup. It becomes the cup. Be like water. I'm just adapting, jesting. I'm being like water. You know, and that and that's what NoFap helps you. It, it, get, it gives you that tool to, to feel those feelings and to be able to adjust, to be able to adapt to your environment, to your situation, to whatever circumstance that's being presented to you, it helps you figure out your weakness so you can strengthen your weakness. You know, we all have weaknesses. We all have strengths. No fat reveals your weakness so it can help, so it can, so you can go inside and do the inner work. That's what you have to do every single day. Work on yourself. Work on your fucking self, man. So yeah, this is a long fucking video, but Felt like this was much needed for the guys that are that are like that are down for me, that are that are my real no fat brothers, not people that just come look at one two minutes. These are for guys that that are down for me. Day one, day twenty, whatever day you started. If you're down for me, you stuck along, you stuck around to hear what the fuck I got to say. And everything I say, man, it's it's just to it's to help you guys out, and for you guys to look at me. And to know that things are possible because for so long, 
impossible wasn't even in my mind. Impossible was in my mind. I didn't think I didn't think I could break through. I didn't think I could um, break free of porn, break free of masturbation, break free of drinking, break free of doing drugs, break free of of negative influences, break free of suicidal thoughts, break free of depression, break free of of any other negative form. Just or just I didn't I didn't believe it. I didn't even believe in myself. Believing in myself allowed me to take action and make it a YouTube channel. Believing in myself allowed me to take action and to get in my CDL license. Believing in myself allowed me just to accept myself for how I look. You know, how do I look? How do I smell? You know, just accepting myself 100%. You know, so. Yeah, guys. Um. Uh, and I appreciate all you guys if you stuck around this long. Uh, and just know like, what, what you're going through is a transformation for your future self. You're evolving. I'm evolving every single day. I'm not the same person I was on day 30, day 60, day 90. Every day, I'm getting new information. Every new information I get, I'm going to share with you. So, yeah, man. I appreciate every single one of you know fat bros out there. I love everyone to see you know fat bros out there. Let's fucking rise. I got some shit coming very soon. I got, man, I got so many ideas. I'm going to present these ideas to you um, very soon, very, very soon, within the next week or two, maybe even sooner than that. But I want to fucking rise. I want to become my best version. I just want to, I want to become financially free where I can take care of myself and my family. You know, just want to change the world I'm going towards that direction I'm on this earth to do something great I'm on this earth to do something fucking great you too have greatness in you stay strong and stay fucking focused I'm out